I'm JP Myers. Today we're here in the rain uh, at my garage. I have a uh, 87 Alfa Romeo Spider and a 1980 Triumph Spitfire with overdrive and a yellow 1977 Spitfire without overdrive. Today we're going to be working on the yellow car. Uh, we bought the car about a year ago. It's a survivor. It's uh, been ridden hard and uh, abused a little bit. It looks pretty good, but it's got a lot of stuff under the hood that's kind of scary. Um, I fixed a lot of things. I won't get into that today, but what we're going to work on today, the car came originally with a mechanical fuel pump that's been disconnected and an electrical fuel pump of a generic variety has been zip tied to the hydraulic lines of the firewall. And that's been running the car for a while, but it's been wired up a little weird. Uh, there's a toggle switch on the dashboard that's always live. So anybody can walk by, hit that switch and kick on the pump. So uh, that's not ideal. Uh, we're going to try and figure out if we can go back to a mechanical pump for this and just get all that stuff off of there, or if that's not possible, how to better arrange an electric fuel pump. Uh, the second thing, if we have time, is the car currently runs a GM alternator with scrap metal brackets holding it on. Also not ideal, so I have uh, a factory replacement that's upgraded to 100 amps with all the, the normal factory stock bracketry. And if we can do that today, hopefully we'll get that monstrosity taken off and something more suitable put on. Do you have a preference going now on the mechanical? Yeah. What's, the, what's the rapid one? Yeah, it's all up to you. That's right. That's, I think it's the can looks good. I like to go mechanical. So, all right. Not that it's pointing to point anybody, but I don't have the spacer block. Yeah, I don't think I'm. Well, well and if, if that shorts us and we're done there, I, I have the alternator and all the bracketry out there. And the issue here is going to be so the stock alternator has like a three prong plug. plug yeah. And when they put this GM thing on, they just basically cut. Oh, it's wiped it out. Well, going over the first time was fun. It's at the red one. I was so really a nice little hole in your dash. So. Do you like the Sharpie yeah, accent? Really yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is it? Come on. That's an extension. Ooh, I don't think that's going to be long enough. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's uh, is that the same one that's on that one? So this goes on the bottom. Okay. So there's a five inch bolt. I got all the bolts and stuff. The bracket on the bottom is supposed to be there. Is there? Okay. Missing a bolt for some reason. And then this gear. Potentially. Okay. Hey, if you do the research. Look at that. There's a nut. And it looks like it's tearing. Which is great. How the hell do you all oh, that shit? Good lord. <laughs> well, there you go. He is steering <laughs> going in. Okay. To make the story short, because of that, they call it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You are in, yeah. you're in, I'm in, in deep now. I've never been, but I want to come. Okay. Um, Scrap metal. Say bye bye. That's it. It's adjustable. It's German. I think I think CTR will make those in production there. We can make a mid out of that. Checking out the template. <laughs> Many moons ago. 
Yeah, basically the brown wire is connected to the big pins and the yellow one. Exactly. Small pin. I kept that coffee. It's a piece of It was never going to be a running car. Never going to be a running car. So. That's that. If you can thread it by hand, you're good to go, right? I thought that yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. Was that just missing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'd already done the whole wiring. Yeah. It's got a, a you know, were you able, ever able to find a spacer? Anybody? All right. So I'll have to follow up on that. I even tried junkyards. Every Nobody. The guy that sold me this bracket. Well, we don't have the connector we need to plug into the, the factory style alternator, which takes a nice, neat little plug there. So we're labeling the wires so that when I get the plug in, I can do it without the group who's not going to hang around for a week so okay so this is the big spade you can just write that on there. there's two though yes there are two they're actually connected directly to each other really yeah so it's, it's actually it's a it's a two what's it called it it's like a, it's a there are two prongs that are attached to the same bracket <laughs> Two, well, you need a belt, a bolt, a spacer. That's coming, so I don't have to. And uh, yeah, the, the little plug kit for that, which is less than 10 bucks. And then a spacer for that with some new stuff. Yeah. Pretty, uh, we didn't actually finish anything today, but the we know what you need. Yeah, we know what you need. <laughs> well, look, you, we've eliminated this garbage. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was scary. That, I mean, I'm sorry. That was. <coughs> it could have been a live wire under the dash, and then <laughs> you yeah, with no fuses. Lines. No fuses. And no fuses. Well, Good point. Right. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. So then I put it in back a brand new. So, Doug, I got a question for you. Can you get to your Okay, so we had a, a really productive day, and it'll sound a little counterintuitive, but we took a car that was running and made it so that it wasn't. But I'm very happy about that because we made a lot of progress on both the fuel pump issue and the scrap metal bracket alternator issue. Um, with the pump, it turns out the cam lobe was in good shape, actually really good shape. So we're going to go with a mechanical pump. We were missing a spacer we needed on that, so I'll have to order that in and, and try that again at a later date. Uh, with the alternator, we also had a lot of luck. Um, with the bracketry, we got a factory style alternator that's uprated and everything. but. Um, some of the wiring on the Bodge project, basically they cut the plug, so we have to order the plug in and do this right, uh, which was the whole point of this today. And then as a special bonus, um, we even replaced some of the hood stops and adjusted the hood on the car so that it fits and closes properly. So the car's not running, but I couldn't be more satisfied.